So I'm on part three. I actually just made a video about setting heading and paragraph styles, but it got away from me and it's about 26 minutes long. So I'm gonna put that up, but I'm also gonna make a really quick video um, to show you what you need. And I'm gonna try to keep it a lot shorter. Um, basically, I've already gone through and I've set the heading styles, but what you wanna do is use words built in styles because when you use their heading one, heading two, heading three, heading four, it's gonna show up here on the navigation pane, which is really important. If I go to view, I can make sure that navigation pane is checked so I can see the navigation pane. And that kind of lets me jump around a lot faster. The first time you do this, you're going to have to, um, let me change this and just make it some normal thing. So if I haven't set this up right, um, my heading might look anything like this. What I want to do is set a style for this heading so it always looks the same. And to do that, if this was just normal text, I'd highlight what I wanted to be my heading. I'd go up here to heading one, um, but then I'd change it to whatever I wanted it to look like. So maybe, for example, you want to pick headings that match your book cover and your genre. So that's pretty important. And then I can just, in earlier versions of Word, you could right click this and you could go to style and you'd be able to update the style to match the selection. Um, but in Microsoft 2016, in Word 2016, you have to go up here to the heading style and right click and update heading one to match selection. It's just in a different place. And if I update it, then all of my instances of that heading style will be different. So I could change it again. You could right click and update heading one. So if you're using headings, that means that in every case where I've used the heading, here I just have the number, um, which actually would look a lot better if it was large. So I could change that again, right click, Oops. Right click and update headings. So you can change this anytime. The reason you use headings um, is so that it'll show up in the navigation pane, which is gonna make it a lot easier when you convert to ebook or when you set up a, TOC, a table of contents, TOC. Um, this is all gonna look good. So you'd have your subtitles all set up. This is why we use styles. Um, so we're gonna do the same thing with the paragraphs where this first paragraph style I already think I set up the main style for the paragraph, which is just, um, you can do it with normal. Uh, when you start a, a document in Microsoft Word, you probably have like a normal option, so I could just do everything with normal, but I actually started a new style, which I named paragraph. So that's what you're using for most body text, but the first paragraph is usually not indented. So I went here to line space options and I removed the indent and I just saved it as a new style. You can right click here. Um, if you've made something new, you can right click it, go to styles, create a style, and then save it as whatever you want. So I've done that and I've saved it as a first paragraph style. So now when I go up here, I can just highlight the style and go to first paragraph and it removes that indent. And I could very quickly go through my document to those first paragraphs and set the style. Um, and that's something I would also do when you're first setting it up. I would need to do with all of my headers and my subtitles because they wouldn't show up in the beginning. Um, but the really cool thing about Microsoft Word is now that I've set this up with headers, I can move entire sections around. And if I drag this chapter five, it will move everything that's under the chapter five heading until the next heading. Um, so if I'm using subtitles, if I'm writing nonfiction, and I tried, like, for example, I added a, a subheader here with another section. Um, if I made many of those, for example, I can just grab this whole section and I'll make another one. So if you were doing your formatting this way, I usually format when I'm writing, especially I'll do the heading styles because then once I have all this stuff in my table of contents, um, I can be drafting and outlining and I can move sections around. So I'll have like, if I'm writing fiction, I'll have um, a description of the scene. So I'll say something like, goes to school 
fight or something. That's the description of the scene, so I know what happens. And then maybe I decide this scene really needs to be in another chapter. I can move that whole scene somewhere else. So that's a pretty cool thing um, to know. But that's why we use styles. But also just because now, like, if I decide after I finish writing the book, and now I'm going to really make it ready for print, um, I might change the fonts a little bit. And of course, I'll get rid of my scene description, and I'll just, um, I might leave like a section break or something like that. Anyway, but then once you finish and you've changed the style, you need to remember to go up and right click up here and update heading three to match selection. If you don't update the style, um, it's not going to match in every case. So that's why you really have to, when you make any changes, you have to remember to update it. Um, in Microsoft 2016, which is what I'm using right now, you need to highlight it um, and go up here and right click on this style section, update heading to match selection. In earlier versions of Word, you could just right cl click and you could go to you could go to Styles and you could do Update. It doesn't seem to be an option here, um, or at least I haven't found it yet, which is kind of too bad. If I apply Styles, um, I don't think it works the way that it used to work, which is too bad. Anyway, I'm going to stop this video here. It's a little bit shorter than the other video that I made, um, but if you want to learn more about setting Styles for your chapter heading and your um, subtitle, which is all pretty important, um, you can watch that longer video. I'll try to talk about the important things that need to happen in the next video as well. So you can skip that long 26-minute video if you want to um, or if you want to get a little bit um, more insight on how to set up styles for your headers and your first page especially. You can watch that longer video. Thanks.